The Vanderbilt Commodores, the number one team in the country, making their way into Hoover Metropolitan Stadium. They are shockingly in the loser's bracket. They'll take on South Carolina, a team that had some tough luck yesterday as well. They will square off in an elimination game as the 2013 baseball tournament continues in Hoover, Alabama. Pushes it down the right side. Going to be a tough play. They made the tag. Diving effort from Conrad Greger. And they get the out. He pops the butt up. That'll drop in for a hit. The throw sails over the head of LB Dancer, and that'll get both runs in. Forty-eight and eight on the year. Norwood to right field, diving catch by Sullivan. That will get Smith to tag up at third. He'll come in to score, but a nice effort in right. And everybody does their job, and a sacrifice fly makes it three to nothing. Kevin Zomek has given up only one run, six hits. There's a fair ball down that left field side. That's going to be at least two. Well, English has his first hit of the day, and it was a ringing double right over that third base bag. Here's the payoff pitch. Ground ball back up the middle. Is it going to get into center field? It is. The Gamecocks are going to get a big two-out hit and another run. Breaks off the spinner, runs it to three and two. Throws the fastball right by him. Boy, that's a good piece of pitching right there by Jordan Montgomery. That ball is hit to right. Mike Yastrzemski drifting back to the wall. And took it out of here. I don't think Yastrzemski thought it was going to leave the yard, nor did I. But give L.B. Danzler his 15th home run of the year. They beat this Vanderbilt team last year, 3 to nothing in the title game. Runner goes. Here's a chopper to second. This may be the double play they were trying to get out of. Tim Corbin over at third base just kind of rubs his temples saying, I cannot believe we got our guy in motion and we still went into a double play. Gregor, two out of ten. There's a shot through the right side and a collision. Game is over and everybody is going to look at the second baseman, Max Schrock, who got hit on the collision.